Can everybody speak, hear me if I speak in a loud voice? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And for the uh, Chamber of Commerce of Eastwood and the Riverside Business Chamber, thank you for the opportunity to give you my policies for my vision for Ride. I've been a Qantas captain, a pilot and leader for 27 years. I have six decades of broad experience in life challenges. I'm not an expert in every field, and I'm, but I'm passionate and highly motivated about the desperately needed change in this city. In my flying career, I have faced many challenges that demanded immediate intervention. I've had pro propellers grind to a halt in mid-flight. I have experienced multiple um, mechanical systems failing one after another, and I have had the caution panel light up like a Christmas tree. I have arrived at outports in the middle of the night in stormy weather and without, with minimum fuel and uh, not able to land because of the inclement weather. It is in these moments of truth, ladies and gentlemen, that people look for solid leadership to manage the crisis and they look for a safe pair of hands that will steer the ship safely home. Ride is in crisis. The caution panel is indicating systematic failure and the operating crew seem paralysed. I have lived in this area for 30 years and we need action now to manage these failures. The motto or creed emboldened on the now vacant condemned sarcophagus of the Ride Civic Centre reads, progress through endeavour. Surely this is a statement of condemnation from our forefathers. We live in an environment of multi-storey apartments that line the main roads and traffic congestion chokes to a standstill. As increased population and through traffic use our roads as thoroughfares. We now, it is not, it is, the answer is not to stop construction completely because it is the lungs and lifeblood of a healthy economy. We need an appropriate level of development <coughs> matched by appropriate state government infrastructure. We are the second largest economy in New South Wales and the federal and state governments have been reaping billions from our community with nothing to show but empty promises like the underground bus terminal at Ryde. I'll agitate for bridges, ri over rivers, rail tracks or construction of underground tunnels. We need the underground bus terminal, commuter parking and the light rail. These are obvious solutions. For, to ease local traffic congestion. Here in Eastwood, outside this very building, a gang of 30 bashed my son's 16-year-old friend senseless. He was minding his own business, talking to his mother on his phone. Where are the police? I will agitate for more police surveillance in Ryde. Let's bring back common sense. Pedestrian crossings have a continual throng of inconsiderate shoppers that stream across. In the meantime, traffic backs up uncontainable queues. A simple solution, manage pedestrian traffic with a sequential light system. It's not rocket science, gentlemen and ladies. I will oppose the continual government sell-off of local schools and land holdings with zero return to our community. I will do my utmost to stop the stealth taxes with state government gouging tolls, fees, charges and business taxes and levies. In 2017, I campaigned for the Coalition of Marriage leading Bennelong in the fight to preserve traditional marriage. Now more than ever now, we need to preserve ourselves from the ramifications that we are warned about, such as attacks on religious liberty, sexualising our young vulnerable children. We need a strong voice to contain political obsession with minority groups such as the LGBTQ lobby. I'm just about there. I don't recognise the Australia that I grew up in, but I love this country with a passion and I'm ready to fight. I'll leave you with one thought. While Labor answers to the unions and get up and Victor answers to Michael Fotius, I will answer to no one but the people of Ride. When you vote for me, you vote for yourself. Steve Bush, the Ride side of history. <laughs>